Hello, this is Biblical Tarot, and I'm back with another video. And I will be doing the card of the day today, which this is the card of the day, as you see today's card. It is Mercury in Cancer, which is Three of Cups. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting here. You know, it looks like we have a party going on. We got three people. Uh, the card before this would be the Two of Cups. So with the Two of Cups, you only have two people, you see. Now we've moved on here with the Three of Cups. So now we have three people or three cups. So, so you know, some people say, hey, two, that's cool. And then three, oh, man, that might be a crowd. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe not. Some people like it. Some people don't. I don't know. But we have here Bina because it's three. Bina and Bariah, and that's the world of Bariah, which is the world of water. We are residing right now, when we're in this card, we're residing in Bariah, okay? It's water, the cups. We are in Bina, which is the third Sephira on a tree of life, and it's called Bina. So that's where we are like, that's where we're at. So we have to feel that energy of that, okay? We're understanding in the world of water. So that's Mercury and Cancer. That's the placement with this card. And so when I look at this card, okay, and it's pretty interesting, I think this card is. It, it really sparked me. It sparked something inside of me, that's for sure. But I've always looked at this card and... um. The most interesting thing for me has always been the middle person in the card. Lots of people like to say, hey, they, this is three women, which, yeah, you have the three vices, the hope, faith, and charity, and, you know, they're, like, together or whatever, or three virtues, I'm sorry, something like that. And they're, like, women, and then they're together, and they're, like, all together, swinging together, loving together. But I, for some reason... With me and my interpretation, I do not think this is three three women. I think it's two women on the side, and it's a male in the middle, okay? And I think there's a little bit of funny business going on, because if you really, really look to the side here, he's got his hands down there, you know. Like, you know, when people kind of drinking and, and, and hands just starts to move, you know, undercover, moving, yeah. I mean, that's what I see when I look into this card. But I also look into this card and I see his, um, because I believe that that's a guy, a guy with long hair. Um, I believe that, um, if you look at his, uh, clothes, okay, there's some messages in the clothes okay and that's that's how you read this these cards is you have to you have to look at the symbolisms within the card and they give you more information on what the card means and what it's about okay and maybe you could see something different and that's okay if you see something different it's about what we see and what we bring out in the cards okay so what i see is i see a snake actually i see two snakes and I see a mouse, or it could be a rat, in his clothes. I see a snake about to eat a rat, and the other snake about to eat the same rat. So when I see that, I'll show you where it is. Boop, 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 boop. It's right there. <clears throat> so if you just look in there, and I can... What happens when two snakes grab the same rat? Right? Okay, what happens when two snakes grab the same rat? Do you know what happens? I say he got two two snakes on the side of him. He needs to take his butt home. He needs to go home and he does not need to stay drinking with these two women's, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying because one of the snakes is going to eat, eat them, eat them all. 
Okay? I'm just saying. And that's what, what I see in that. I see that. Do you see the snake? And do you see the shape? It looks definitely like a mouse. And the mouse is scared because he's about to get eaten. He's about to get eaten. <clears throat> yep. And I'll also show you. We'll go back here. No, actually, we'll go back here. We're in the right spot. All we have to do is look at his outfit. Okay, you see his outfit. The emperor's outfit is that same outfit that that guy has on. He has the same colors. You see that? The same colors there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the same colors. Yeah, so I can go back. And you can see it's the same color there, the same color as the magician, as we are in Mercury and Cancer, okay? The magician is Mercury, all right? So he's got that red on. You see that red they got on? Interesting, I think. I do. He's even ha He even has it on. And also, he has that burgundy on that's in there that also... the 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 emperor has around his his shoulders and stuff but do you see the snake and it's probably going to not be as in focus as the other ones because i took a screenshot of these two together so you could see and you could see that snake to understand what i'm saying when i tell you that there's two snakes about to eat a mouse okay and they're you know and that they're trying to let you know that in this card okay you can even see a mouse if you see that mouse on the side there see that mouse in in the um fruit the fruit and veggies there's a mouse it's a little black mouse and i'm able to show it to you here we go you see him there we go that's the little mouse so yes you could see that mouse or that rat or whatever you want to call it you can see the two snakes so that should let you know something it should let you know a lot okay it should let you know a lot in here about the energy it looks like it's a fun time it looks great it looks grand but you really need to look into the card to see what's really going on you know what i'm saying because things ain't always what what they is and words always have two meanings we do know that, right? Okay, so so we're in Mercury. Mercury's in Cancer, and Cancer is is at Cancer is the home, the family, the partnership. Okay, it's sensitivity, intuition, protectiveness, moodiness. You know, sentimental mood sometimes. Oh yeah, sentimental. You know, human relationships. Okay, but when you was in the two of cups, you only had two. But when you're in the three of cups. You know, there's, there's another, there's another, there's another body coming in. You know what I'm saying? There's another emotional cup coming in. Okay. So that, I think that's pretty interesting. And then the key word becomes perspectivity. So things are viewed from a fixed point, whatever that point is, the cup being the point whichever third cup, whatever they view from their perspective, that's what their truth is. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, and everybody's truth becomes kind of different, right, right, right? So, yeah, that I think that's very interesting. Cancer is a cart is the cardinal, so, you know, it's a forerunner. Uh, but here, the energy, there's... Outside influence, outside influence, okay? There's changing of the minds, changing of the emotions going on. And I think that's pretty interesting with this card. I really do. Um, you see the mouse. That mouse, mm, 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 the mouse symbolism is pretty interesting. Actually, I keep seeing the ad too of mice house clock of mice and men it's 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 a movie 
and it's actually it's a novel too but i keep seeing it on my youtube they keep trying to get me to watch it they're like hey hey you know you like this watch it watch it I'm like no 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 i don't want to watch it i know you guys know what i like but you know sometimes you refuse but yeah i keep seeing it on there and it was just weird that i saw that mouse there because it just made me think of that movie you know because sometimes you know you can connect these correspondences with things that are going on in your life. And that's what reading tarot is, <clears throat> you know? So I thought that was interesting. And I'm going to move on with the mouse symbolism. You know, that sometimes that could be missed opportunities and jealousy. And jealousy. Because like I said, remember, there was two cups at first, you know? Two cups. Hey, two cups, you know? Cheers. Then there's another emotional cup coming in. Like, what the heck, you know? And that's where we have that little mousy, you know? Also, you have the mouse or the rat, you know, whatever you want to call it. Sent to destroy with the, uh, grain, sent to destroy the grains and stuff in Egypt. It's a plague. Sometimes it can be a plague. Sometimes a small little thing could turn into this big old thing. You know what I mean? So you got to watch it. You really got to watch it, you know, because those kind of rodent, rodents can bring in plagues, bubonic plague, anything like that, you know. You got to be careful. You got to keep things clean. You got to keep things morally clean, okay. Because a mouse can, can have the uh, symbolism of separation, division, judgment, decay, dirt death and we do not want that we don't want that we want we want the pumpkin you see that pumpkin we want abundance okay abundance it's october pumpkins abundance baby spice pumpkin to the top that's what i'm talking about yes but we also need to know that the moon is in here somewhere because we're on um in cancer and the moon rules cancer so like it looks great it looks grand but like i said you have to really look into the card and you can see that things are becoming decayed you know the grapes you know they look great they look great they look grand but you got to look at the blackness in the card you got to look you got to look you got to look at the stuff. You got to look at the lady's hair and see that, you know, there's a little snake coming outside of her hair. Like a Medusa, you know? So things ain't always what they're cracked up to be. And just be careful. Be careful. Be mindful. Discernment. This is the card of the day. Guess what, guys? I love you. I got to go to work. Bye.